most yacht videos are featured on the interior of the vessel. And while the interior of this vessel is absolutely fabulous and the quality is superb, I want to spend more time on this video with showing to you all of the great specific details on the exterior of this yacht. Entering the vessel, we have a magnificent stern passerelle built by Gilbert and Schmelgeider in Germany. You'll notice the quality of the passerelle. It is a meter wide, the fixations, the quality of the stainless steel. You'll notice the huge oval rails and then with the intermediary rails being solid flat bar. As you will notice with the mooring bits and the mooring gear. Instead of them being stuck on the deck in pure view of the owner and his guests, they were designed so that the custom sun lounging areas cover these mooring bits and commercial equipment. Some of the many great features which typify a vessel of the quality of Mad Summer are displayed in areas where people do not really pay attention to. If you look at the design of the superstructure of the house of the vessel, it is perfectly clean. There are no door handles, there are no hinges. It's just a perfectly clean flow as demonstrated by the, the side of the superstructure. This area, as you can see, is a huge area which can accommodate a lot of people. But then we make it even more usable by having built into our boats custom sliding glass doors, which turn this area into an indoor winter garden. So when you are in areas of the world in inclement weather, let's say you're in New York in November or December, you can close this off and the guests still have full use of the exterior decks. Most vessels are built with very narrow passageways. With Moran Yacht and Shipbuilt Yachts, we like to build these passageways where two people can walk alongside the side alley, abreast, have a conversation. It creates a more luxurious feel of a super yacht. And like most yachts where lighting is in the overhead, all of the lighting is indirectly positioned in the bulwarks. By doing so, it creates a warm, cozy feel of lighting instead of a harsh, direct, sharp lighting. Arriving at the foredeck, we have a fully certified helicopter deck, which can take up to one of the largest helicopters uh, ever built. This helicopter deck is comes complete with refueling, firefighting, and all the associated equipment. This vessel will operate with a helicopter on board on most occasions. If you notice all of these awning poles that are around the structure here, these are carbon poles, and the detail of them is that everything is incorporated inside the carbon pole. The lines, the ropes, the lights, these poles have to be taken down every time the helicopter lands. And if you've got big, heavy stainless steel poles, you're gonna take 20 crew to carry and store them. In this situation, these are all light, high quality carbon poles, fully integrated with all of the necessary equipment that you need to accomplish the tasks that they do. Look at the size of the windows. The windows are from ceiling to just below the deck which creates a magnificent panoramic vista when you are inside the boat. The two wing stations on either side of the bridge were recessed into the bulwarks and the whole platform extends out by a meter which lets the captain who operates the boat have a perfect view and vision of the whole length of the vessel while maintaining the design intent of Peter Isgard. This area of the vessel is the owner's private exterior sun deck. It's only accessible from the master stateroom 
I'm from a private stairway above, so this is a totally private deck. Look at the styling of the mast, which is so sleek and pure. Just look at the quality of that polished stainless steel. It is of museum quality. Even with a yacht of the size of Mad Summer, 95 meters, 312 feet, with a GRT of 3,280. Even with a massive boat like this, you have to have areas of the boat that can be used for multi-purposes. The third function of this deck, for it to be a dance floor discotheque. We have lights, music, speakers, everything is incorporated into this area so it can be a truly unique outdoor discotheque nightclub. And in addition, we built in a beautiful onyx finished bar equipped with a full bar equipment to serve drinks and uh, entertainment to the guests who are partying out on this deck. We now arrive at the top deck forward, which is a private sitting relaxing area for the owner and his guests. It features a jacuzzi, beautiful seating, beautiful views, all of the normal details that we have described to you in the rest of the vessel are duplicated in this area. With the stanchions, you'll notice that all of the windscreens, they are frameless. Just the top frame, no batten frames in between, which obscures vision. You'll notice that the, the vista from sitting up here is quite magnificent. And that is because we eliminated all obstacles to views looking forward. Here we are in the forward tender garage. On the MY Mad Summer, the owner decided that he'd like to have the tenders forward of the vessel, which would open up the aft section of the ship where he could have a huge spa, sauna, massage room, a complete wellness area. The level of finish in the technical areas of this vessel are unsurpassed. In the overheads, we have two eight-ton gantry cranes, which lift the tenders up and launch them out through gold wing doors, which pop up on either side of the vessel. It is a very efficient, very quick operating practice and we can launch a tender within five minutes and bring it back on board in five minutes. The area we are at right now is the aft entertainment area. This area was designed to feature a custom exterior table with seating so that the owner and his guests can sit at the water's edge on the aft section of the ship. It also features a beautiful two meter stairway which leads down into the water. Unlike most yachts where the guests have to go into the water on a little swimming ladder, this is a huge two meter wide, two meter deep swimming ladder which can let any person from the age of five up to 105 go in and out of the water in complete safety. The area that we are in right now is the second tender garage which is featured at the aft of the vessel on the stern of the port side. This area accommodates a nine meter sport boat for water skiing and also accommodates six wave runners. We are now in the upper area of the engine room, painted to perfection. All of the polished stainless steel areas, the manifold systems, everything is done to absolute perfection. The main feature from my perspective is the quality of the finish with the best equipment in the world.